Hi YouTube, this is Matt McIntosh and this is video 15 of my character creation set focusing on the giant character. So what I'm doing with this one is separating the head from the main body and I'm making it into its own subtool. Now if I keep the um, smoothing option uh, away or turned off, um, when I divide the mesh it will actually keep the same geometry around the outside of the head object so by doing that it means that everything will line up but I can now divide it and give it far more mesh to actually play around with and that means as you can see I can go over that surface and start to pull bits around and actually refine edges far more than if it was part of the overall mesh and the reason for that is because the airbrush kind of limits how much you can put into one mesh before it starts to affect the overall performance of your machine. Whereas if you separate tools off into other smaller sub-tools, it means that you can divide each one of those meshes to a far higher amount than you would be able to with just a single mesh. So I'd recommend that if, um, if you get into a point where your meshes aren't really kind of being cooperative anymore potentially look to divide it up into smaller areas so that you can um, give those areas more mesh to play with so as you can see with this it's meaning that I'm uh, able to actually refine the shapes of the uh, eyebrow area and uh, the eyelids I'm getting far more kind of uh, detail into those areas I'm putting um, creases into the forehead and yeah it is working on a mirror uh, system at the moment but it, it's giving you the indication as to how you could potentially go about doing that um, you just turn off the symmetry and you could make it individual per side so yeah um, <clears throat> what I've also done with this is uh, smooth out that ear very early on in the video and I'm going to try and kind of make his facial features very worn and um, a bit grotesque. So what I'm doing with this is using the clay tool to build up a bit of uh, the surface in uh, areas around the lips. And then I'm using the dam standard and the smoothing tool to kind of work back into it. So because I've got that additional polys uh, to work with, it means that I can give it the surface a more refined appearance. As you can see I'm just building up bits of the uh, nose and around the eyes to give them kind of bags um, and again I'm just using the dam standard tool there and a bit of the move tool to give that its uh, shape and its form. So at the moment, just building up around the mouth and the nasolabial fold, bit of the nose, and again, working back into that eye socket area. Now, I know this isn't particularly realistic in its uh, approach, but I'm just wanting to get a very kind of um, apparent cheekbone uh, and some kind of bag under the eye. And it has, Kind of indented the face somewhat but at this moment in time I'm not too worried about that because as I've said in previous videos ZBrush is actually quite forgiving um, whether you make a mark in the wrong place or not you can smooth that out or you can just use the move tool to, to readdress it or even control Z so yeah um, as you can see those cheekbones are, are starting to take shape now giving the um, eyelids a little bit more kind of puffiness and just working back into them using the dam standard tool okay um, I'm gonna leave it there for this video I uh, hope you like what you see uh, if you are please like and subscribe to my channel and keep an eye out for future videos okay thanks for watching